Hi there, and welcome to Essential Me. Today we have the Essential Family. So I'm going to share my screen with you. We're going to get started on this is the Essential Me um, series that we have March through May right now, 11 total. Um, today we have the Essential Family hosted by the Kiefer Family. This is our overall series. So we've had emotional balance with Andy Tippy, and today essential family and next week is the essential women's health. Those are Sunday afternoons. So stay tuned for more. This is our March lineup. So Andy Tippy did um, emotional balance with exposing the light. The Kiefer family is here to tell you all about how they use essential oils with busy family. And then I have the women's health next week. So let's let you know a little bit more about the Kiefer's. Uh, Kat Kiefer is a wife and mother of three children, ages seven, four, and one, as well as a registered nurse. Her nursing experience is in reproductive endocrinology, hospice, case management, and most recently in clinical research. The Kiefer family moved to Arizona from New York almost seven years ago. At that time, they had one child and a couple of dogs. Their family has since grown, and as you can imagine, life is busy with three kids, full-time jobs, pets, and life in general. Kat and her family began using doTERRA essential oils approximately two years ago. Today, she and her husband, Steve, will be sharing their personal experience with the essential oils and how they use them. So, where do we start? <laughs> We're gonna start with the Kiefer's themselves. Hi, thanks for tuning in. And we are super excited to talk with you guys and let you know how we have incorporated doTERRA essential oils into our um, wellness routine, our home, um, our children, just overall emotional health and just so much more. There's so much to learn and um, here we are. So we want to go over just a uh, general uh, information on essential oils yeah, bear with us okay so we'll talk about uh, what essential oils are what makes them effective and just different ways that we can use essential oils and uh, let me just move on so uh, what are essential oils um, some of you may be familiar some of you may be new so um, I think this is important to go over uh, it's nature's defense mechanism for plants and cells uh, we have a roof over our heads, we have coats, we have you know, different ways to protect ourselves. Plants don't, um, so this is their way of protecting themselves, um, which tells you how uh, powerful these essential oils can be. Um, they come from different parts of the plant. They come from the seeds, the bark, the stems, roots, flowers, and other parts of the plant. And um, they are highly concentrated. That's a very important to keep in mind. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need a whole lot. Um, in, in many cases, one drop of an oil can be sufficient depending on what you're doing. And one key fact I like to share is um, with peppermint, uh, particularly doTERRA, um, talking about doTERRA essential oils, you might find some differences with others. One drop of peppermint oil, and I love this fact, is equivalent to um, 28 uh, peppermint tea bags. So um, I, Honestly, I've stopped drinking tea. Um, whenever I feel like a tea, what I do is I take warm water and I add in a drop of my favorite oil, um, whether it's On Guard or lemon or peppermint. And you guys, if you do that with peppermint, just one drop. <laughs> because that will open up um, your, your sinuses, it'll open up your, just all of your mucous membranes. And it's, it's powerful more than than powerful um it'll open up your sinuses if you're congested it'll you know it can help your belly with um, different uh, symptoms you might be feeling um so that's that's really important and um, just to kind of go over the different ways that we can use essential oils you can use them uh, aromatically you can use them topically or internally and i will be talking about safety um, and just using resources to look up your oils, um, just like with medications, you may want to look it up before you take it or give it to your children. And uh, with these oils as well, you want to look them up because I did mention taking oils internally. Not all oils can be taken internally, so you um, want to get used to reading your labels um, on your oil bottles um, or um, turning to your references, your books, um, you know, what have you, your apps on your phone, whatever you have, just to know how to safely use these oils learn about dilution for children or pets or even certain oils, even with adults, 
you want to dilute because they may be, for example, hot oil or um, something like that. So those are very important factors. Safety, safety, safety is, is very important. Some people might think, oh, it's natural, it's okay. Um, I can do whatever I want with it, but that's not necessarily the case. Let's be responsible and safe with using these products. And um, just to go over why are they, um, why these oils are effective. So they work at a cellular level. Um, they protect our cells. They, um, um, the, the nutrient, you know, their nutrients that penetrate the cell membranes. Um, I mean, they're they're pretty neat stuff. And this is just. Um, just a little reference here, uh, if you guys have children, just a, a good way to start uh, more things to carry with you um, in your purse or diaper bag or just kind of have in your medicine cabinet with kids. Um, particularly the roller bottles, I like those because they're already diluted. You don't have to, you know, hey, how do I dilute my baby's this age or my kids are this age? That's already done for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and if you're out on the go, you can just pull it out of your purse. You know, I, I sometimes make my own. I have my helichrysum, but I'll tell you what I used it for um, in a little bit. But Breathe is great for the kiddos when they're congested. And even for us, we use Breathe a lot. I was just telling Tina earlier, the two oils we go through the, the most, all of our oils last us quite a bit, but On Guard and Breathe are big ones um, in our home. Our kids, you know, they know them. They know them by name and they request them by name. Uh, which that is also so cool that our kids are, are just loving these, these products. Um, I use Serenity a lot with my daughter, Balance, um, Vetiver, all of those for just calming them, for um, calming them down for sleep. The Basil I use a lot, and I'll tell you later for what as well. I combine that with the Healy Prism. And then I just want to talk a little bit just about how we incorporate the oils in our home. Um, so um, just general health and wellness, we use them for ourselves, um, <coughs> for the kids. Um, and and, I, and as, as we go along, I do want to just share some personal stories of how we have used them, maybe with the kids or with ourselves. Um, and so recently, maybe a month or so ago, our daughter was crying. It was, uh, so Steve works night shift. I work day shift. Um, as Tina said, we moved from New York to Arizona about seven years ago. All our family is still in New York. We have no help here. So like we have, we have to figure it out if our kids get sick. So it is important. I mean, it's important for all parents to keep their kids healthy, but I think for us, that's an added benefit because we'll have to call off work and we have three kids. So, if, you know, um, they all get sick and they all, they don't all get sick at the same time. I mean, we're, and we only have one car too. So yeah, we've come down to one car. So he had left for work. So I had no car and I'm home with three kids. The little one, the one-year-old was already in his crib asleep. And Savannah just was crying, holding her ear. My ear hurts, owie, owie, owie. I mean, screaming, you know. Um, I can't drive her anywhere, I don't have a car. I have no one to call to say, can you please take me and my three kids to urgent care or the ER? And really, as you know, I'm a nurse and you know that joke, you're, we're not going to the ER unless you're bleeding or you're bleeding out, you know, it's true. I won't take my kids to the ER for any little thing. So <laughs> I knew she needed probably an antibiotic. I was not, I was not going to run to the ER. So I needed something because, you know, we still go to the doctor. We still, you know, do our annual checks. We still, we still do those things. We haven't stopped doing that. Um, so I wanted something to get me through the night um, until Steve came home from work in the morning and, and could take her to her pediatrician. I didn't want to go to urgent care or ER. So um, and that's where I made my little um, helichrysum uh, roller bottle. I did that behind the ear along with some diluted basil. Um, and that helped with uh, just helping that pain. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. And um, another uh, mind shift, I guess, that we have to make when using essential oils. For me personally, having, you know, being a nurse, I was always, you know, every six hours, every eight hours, and that's it. With the oils, the beauty of that is you can use them more often depending on how, how acute the situation might be. This child was in pain, um, so I wanted to manage that and I did that um, quite often until she finally calmed down. Um, and in addition to using the two oils, the helichrysum and the basil behind her ear, I also wanted to just calm her down. She was very anxious, very worked up. Um, I did that and then I took a little bit of lavender 
I um, diluted it in body lotion and I gave her a little foot massage just to calm her down. And believe it or not, she fell asleep and she slept through the night. Um, and then the next morning, then Stephen was able to take her to the pediatrician. So that, what, I mean, that right there, you know, I didn't have to rush to the ER and have to go to urgent care. I didn't have to make a copay to the ERs. You know, that's, you know, what's our, uh, a primary care is $35, it's like $35 versus and like and change maybe or 250 like You know, I mean, big difference there. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but money matters to me. And we're trying to, you know, spend as little as possible. So that helps. Of course, I would do anything for my kids' health. Don't get me wrong. But <laughs> if I can use these and, and kind of um, decrease that, absolutely. Um, and then emotional health, um, which is very important. Do you find that you use the oils for emotional health as much? Maybe to fall asleep or relax, I'll do like serenity or lavender, but yeah, that's yeah. mostly for me. I, for myself and for my four-year-old who's going on, what, 25? Yeah. Um, and has these emotional outbursts and, you know, tantrums and stuff. We, she and I use those a lot. Maybe it's, I don't know, combating those, that, that estrogen, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I use them a lot if I'm, feeling overwhelmed you guys know like I said we have no hope here we have no kids we work opposite shifts we really don't have time together there's a lot going on in our home so I get overwhelmed I mean I have you know family life is it's hard it's hard and it's ugly and it can you know it's it's tough you know um so I have my moments where I'm overwhelmed all three kids are acting up and I'm in the closet crying <laughs> and so I say to myself oh my gosh you know I need some uh it depends on, I go, I go through my favorites right now. I'm, I'm loving serenity, balance, and patchouli. So I'll go to any of those and I'll either just inhale them or rub them on my neck or do all of the above um, just to feel better. Um, so we do a lot of that. Um, I use them for cleaning. Um, we, use, we, um, we love our on guard. And um, I, so I used to buy, as you guys can see here, I used to buy the, um, those disinfecting wipes, we would go to Sam's Club or Costco yeah. and buy them in bulk. Um, because again, coming from the hospital setting, they use those wipes a lot just to wipe down the beds, wipe down the counters, wipe everything down. And so um, I was just used to that. And I was doing that at home. Um, nothing wrong with that. But uh, with the On Guard, with the concentrate that you guys can see on the other side, I make my own wipes now. So I have those containers from my old um, products that I used to purchase. I take a bounty or whatever paper towel that you guys use, cut it in half, I put it in the little container, I add in some of my concentrate, a little bit of water, and there you go. You've got your, your own homemade wipes. Um, and I was trying to do some research. Um, I know they're um, antibacterial, but I don't know um, if they're antiviral as well, whereas um, if you look up in your references, if you look up on guard, on guard is antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, I mean, anti everything. So you're really covering all bases and, and that's important um, for all of us. Yeah, as you can see there, so it's antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-infectious, anti-parasitic. I mean, you can see it right there, all of that, all the benefits of that. Um, and it really, um, doesn't take a whole lot. It doesn't, if you, you know, you can see right there, two tablespoons. So um, sometimes people might, you know, they'll get a 12 ounce bottle and they're saying, well, I'm going to go through this in no time, right? But you're not realizing you're only going to use a little bit because as I said, a little bit goes a long way. Um, whereas, you know, with the other stuff here, you know, you're dealing with chemicals and um, just, just cleaning in general. You know, I was a big um, Ajax, Tylex, um, Lysol, just all of that. I, and I would use a, multiple products. Um, I'd be in the shower, <laughs> you know, wiping things down, hacking up a lung. And with these products, that's not the case. I'm not having to deal with um, all those chemical smells. And I think we, it, you know, we, we kind of, it was baby steps for us. And I think when I was pregnant was when- Yeah, I used a lot more, yeah. For cleaning, um, because, it, he was very concerned about, you know, being pregnant and, and these, these chemicals and you're, you know, inhaling them, you're taking them in and the baby. So that's when we really started using them more for cleaning. Um, and that's, um, that's one thing. And then I um, have another slide on On Guard for, um, so Purell, again, a big thing in the hospital is a big thing. Just everyone carries them in their purse. 
Um, I have very sensitive skin, as do all of my kids. Um, when I use the Purell, I break out. I mean, my skin dries up and it cracks and it bleeds. So I have to be very careful. And I think it's probably the alcohol that's in there. Um, I've been using the On Guard. I keep that in my purse and you keep it in the car mm -hmm. for you. And I don't have that same reaction. Um, just It's just so much more gentle because this is all natural. You don't have any alcohol or anything like that um, to um, irritate the skin. So I'm, I'm very happy. better than Purell too. Yeah, yeah, that's a big yeah. thing for you. You always say that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. And then, so we talked about cleaning. Oh, talking about cleaning. Why don't you share your story about running uh, over that skunk? Yeah, ran over a skunk on the way to work. Um, I think the next day we reached out to Tina and, and got the uh, the wonderful recipe of what was it? Baking soda, baking soda and purified purify. in, in a spray bottle. Yeah, sprayed it, put the baking soda in the car, let it sit for I don't remember how long it was a while, and vacuum it up, and then pretty much right after that it went away. So. Whereas when I looked online, people were saying basically just go ahead and burn your car. There's no hope. That that worked like a charm. So yeah, so that was nice. So yeah, yeah, that was great um, because you, you tried. You just tried, just tried vacuuming everything. it and just and, and it was like the shampoo. car stinks. What am I going to do? Reach out to, to someone and find out what we can do. Yeah. So that was good. And I keep that in the laundry room. I, I've noticed. Yeah. Keep the purify bottle. Yeah. Um, and then so moving on to women's health. Um, and, and Tina will go big time into that, but I just wanted to touch a little bit because I have used them um, for different reasons. Like I, uh, when my little guy was born, I wanted to nurse. That's a big thing for me. That's really important for me. So um, I used Clary Sage um, on my breasts um, to, to, um, uh, for milk letdown. Um, so my milk did come in a little, a little faster, well, significantly faster, faster than with my other two kids. So I use that. I know some people use that also to induce um, labor. I didn't need that, but you know, just something to keep in mind. And I did also use um, basil and um, basil, frankincense, and on guard um, because I had really bad mastitis. Um, I had it several times um, this with my last with our last um, son, and so that helped me a lot. It. Um, I didn't want to go on antibiotics. Um, like I said, if I have to, I will. Um, but I would, would I've come, I've, I've come to a place where I, I turn to these oils before I'll run to my medicine cabinet or before I run to my doctor, I'll um, go through my references, which is um, another thing I wanted to share. So being a nurse, I used to keep my um, drug guide, my, my, in my med cart, uh, because for me, it was important to know what I was giving my patients. Um, there's a, you know, there's so many medications out there, so many new things coming into the market at all times, you know, pharmaceutical companies are always coming out with new things. And so if there was a medication I was going to give to my patient, I wanted to know what it was, what it was for, um, potential side effects. And so, you know, that was a big thing for me. And now, um, as I said earlier, um, these oils are wonderful. They're great. They work wonderfully but we also want to be responsible and use them safely and so um, using references for that as well looking up your oils looking up um, what they're good for um, I, I particularly like this book modern essentials it's um, you can look look up by oil you can look up by condition that you might want to work on and I really really like um, there's a table in the back where it'll tell you if it's safe to use for adults, for children, in pregnancy, um, and so on and so forth. Um, internally, topically, you know how how you can use them. Some oils you can't use internally, so it's good to to look that up and just kind of arm yourself with with you know knowledge is power. I know that's cheesy, but it's true. Um, you don't want to just go, oh, this is natural and I can use it however I want because that's not the case. So being safe, diluting with children is so important. So just as, uh, just because I mentioned Benadryl, children's Benadryl is 12.5 milligrams, um, the little tablets, if you were to buy that for your kids, the chewables, whereas an adult is double the dose, 25 milligrams. So same thing goes with this. You're not going to give a child an adult dose. So knowing how to dilute is very important. Same thing with your pets, knowing how to dilute that. Um, and just knowing 
uh, just uh, off the top of my head um, as well, just knowing certain things might induce, some oils might induce certain things like if you're uh, pregnant and you're towards the end but you're not quite ready to go into labor, you may want to stay away from clary sage because that can induce uh, labor. Things like that, just looking up an oil before you use it um, and also being very careful um, not getting oils in your eyes, your nose, your ears, you know, not inside. Um, and if you happen to, um, do we have, oh, fractionated coconut oil, it's good to have that around, or any, any oil really. Um, I've gotten peppermint in my eye, oh, that stings, that's no fun. Mm -hmm. um, so just putting a little bit of oil, uh, fractionated coconut <coughs> oil, or if you're talking oil, um, on a cotton ball and just um, swiping it over your eye and that will dry out, so that's good. And this is where the fractionated coconut oil comes in handy. We keep, we have like two bottles at yeah. a time in our home mm -hmm. um, of this, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then, so for breastfeeding my mastitis, uh, and, and lately I have been using also Claricom. Um, with this third baby, uh, my menstrual cramps have just gotten really bad, so I've, um, instead of these other products um, over the counter, I've been um, just leaning on my Claricom. And again, the beauty is I can apply it often throughout the day. I don't have to wait six, eight, 12 hours to, to feel that relief. And so I wanna talk about pets. This is, so that's my, that's our little one. That's Sean, He's, he'll be one and a half soon. And that's our Jack. He's our 10 year old Chihuahua. And so he's a short haired chihuahua. And as you might know, as I mentioned earlier, I like to save money, I'm kind of cheap. <laughs> I don't want to take him to the groomers. Uh, I mean, I really don't need to, he's, there's not much to him, you know? So I, I do my grooming with him. And so I give him a bath and I used to buy all these products to clean his ears, the, the pet toothpaste to brush his teeth and all of that. And I've started doing my own. Um, so I just took a little bit of lavender with um, a distilled water in a spray bottle, glass or stainless steel. Just keep that in mind. You want to use um, glass or stainless steel containers to store your oils. Um, and so I use that to clean his ears. I used to purchase the Q-tips from Walmart that came filled with lavender to clean his ears. And now I'm like, what the heck am I doing that for? You know, I can just take, you know, a drop or two. Um, put in some distilled water and I use the q-tips and I you know I clean his ears he he's weird he's got just one ear where he produces a lot of earwax so it's nice because you guys know they get their ears get stinky so it cleans it out it's you know it's got all the properties the antibacterial anti all of the anti everything properties and it smells good too um, and then I did also start using um, rather than using the uh, toothpaste that we buy at the store I, I made my own. So I just took um, organic uh, coconut oil and I added <coughs> peppermint and I brushed his teeth with that. Um, and I, we definitely have noticed a big change with that. I mean, tremendously. His breath doesn't stink. He always had puppy breath, you know, just stinky dog breath. That's gone. And we, we take him to the vet. Um, like I said, just like we go to the doctor, we take him to the vet for his annual dental. And he's missing 60 on the bottom. I think so, yeah. From extractions that he's had to have, even though I do brush his teeth, he's had to have extractions every time we went in. And uh, I've been doing the toothpaste for him for, would you say about a year? Close to a year. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. And when we took him for his last dental, they were like, wow, you know, it's been a year, but his teeth look great and he does not need any extractions. So saved money there um, because obviously we had to pay for the dental and the anesthesia to put him under for that, but there was no additional cost for any extractions and it saves him from the discomfort and the pain and all of that. So, um, you know, that's another way that we use it for our Jack, for our puppy, you know, he's important too. Um, like it says, pets are family too. So uh, we used it that way for him and uh, some lavender if he's anxious, things like that. Um, and then, and then just some kind of takeaways, like I said, you can always make your own spray bottles, just depending on what you're looking for. Like if you, um, you know, need something for sleep and you want to spray something on your uh, pillow. I know I used to, buy, we used to buy the, maybe I shouldn't say the store name, but you know, popular store that sells a lot of scented lotions and sprays and all that. We used to buy the spray to um, spray on our pillow and now we can just make our own and it's only going to cost 
I mean, whatever the bottle may cost, but you can get these, you know, in bulk or however you want. And it's only going to take a couple of drops because like I said, these oils go, they go far. You only need maybe two or three drops, you know, maybe, maybe less. Um, and then just some distilled water and you can spray that on your pillow, on your sheets, you know, you can use this with your laundry. There's so many different ways. I mean, and, and as we, as we go, we just learn and even though it's been two years of using these oils, I'll text Tina and I'll be like, oh my goodness, Tina, you have no idea what just happened. Um, I was just telling her, we, um, so my, well, a couple of things. So my one-year-old, um, kids pick up on stuff and I love that, they're, that we are teaching them a natural approach. Our one-year-old grabbed one of my um, roller bottles. Obviously he couldn't open it, but already he knows um, application. So we um, recommend a lot of um, not, not applying oils on their hands for the little ones because we talked about getting them in their eyes. What do kids do? You know, they do all of, all of this. So um, applying them on their feet. And he, so my one-year-old, um, he grabbed our on guard roller bottle because he knows I, I use that on, on the kids frequently. And he was trying to rub it on his feet, which, you know, was so cute. And then my, our four-year-old, a few days ago, um, Steve's parents are in town visiting and she was a little rude and nasty to them and she got in trouble and was having out of control meltdown, out of control. I mean, you know, sobbing and snot and just everything dripping and I, I couldn't get her to calm down. So I walked away. I got a little serenity, a little peace, you know, diluted it. And I didn't even tell her what I was doing. because She would have fought me. I basically was just like, um, Savannah, I, I'm talking to you, listen to me. And that's how I got the oils on her. And, and then of course, you know, kids absorb everything and hear everything. And I said to Steve, worked like a charm because within seconds she just calmed down and stopped. And so then later that night she said, mommy, can you, you know, the oils that worked like a charm, can you put them in my diffuser? <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty you know it's just cool just to see you know you just you keep learning you keep learning um keep taking classes meeting people and just kind of discussing how do you use your oils and just learning um it's just a constant learning um you know journey and it's it's just it's quite awesome and we have found um some benefits for us have been um we go to the doctor less so, and, and, I'm, and I'm not talking about our well visits, we still do those, particularly with the kids, but um, our sick visits, we're not really going to the doctors often. So we're not being um, exposed to other sick people as much, and we're not having to pay those co-pays. We're not having to go to the drugstore to get additional medications. So we're saving money there. We're um, just putting less things in our bodies and the kids' bodies because we are turning to these oils first. Um, and then, so one thing that I shared with Tina recently, like I said, I was, we were big over the counter, you, you know, stuff users. <laughs> and just, uh, when did I say maybe a month ago, two months ago, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go through these and check expiration dates. I threw out a full supermarket, like a supermarket bag full of over the counter stuff from our medicine cabinet. And those bottles were full because they, well, they had expired, so I had to throw them out. But those bottles were full. I told you I used to use Benadryl. I mean, like crazy. We were buying bottles of Benadryl constantly. I threw out a full bottle of Benadryl that was expired. I, I was proud of myself <laughs> because now I turned to serenity or lavender or whatever, you know, other things to help me sleep, to help me calm down. Um, I used to once in a while use them. I, I would get um, angioedema uh, where my eye would just blow up, swell up, or my mouth. It was always just on one side, my eye or my mouth. It looked like either I got punched in the face or I had a really bad, I don't know, lip job. You know, it was like uh, lopsided, you know? Um, and we were talking about how I haven't really had that that often. I think for me, it was stress-induced. I went, I had, years ago, I went to the doctor for that and I had blood work done. They ran autoimmune tests and they couldn't figure out what it, they, they were like, I don't know what to tell you. We don't know what it is. Um, it started for me in nursing school where I was very, very stressed. Um, and it, every time I think about it, it's really whenever I'm very stressed, when I'm going through stuff. And I haven't really no, had no that more. as often. No. Um, and then as far as you with your just men's perspective, mm -hmm. I know you have some oils you like to use. with your Yeah, my back. I have back problems. I mean, not as much anymore, but this... Tell them what blue. you used to do, why you might have back problems. Oh, well, I'm, I'm a retired police officer, so you tell me where upwards of 30 extra pounds on every single day, which 
you know, over time, I did about seven years. So seven years of that will definitely mess you back up. So, um, you this, had injury. You had an yeah, I, have, injury. I had an on job injury, which, you know, definitely messed up my back. I had two bulging discs. I had degenerated discs on the lower back. So this is a lifesaver along with uh, a heating pad or, or even a nice pack. This will, this is awesome. It's a um, deep blue rub. A deep blue rub. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I use the, uh, Pedigreen or any of the furs with my aftershave sometimes too now because it just a it smells really nice and b It just seems to be really good for my skin too. So, you know, I use those and I was the biggest skeptic to begin with I, I never wanted to, be any, to have any part of this but now I have my own diffuser in my office. I have my own oils I have I, 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 yeah, my diffuser bracelet. I'm not wearing it out, but yeah that um, To the point where now even with the doctor the last time I went to the doctor is when I sprained my ankle before that, I would go to the doctor. Before using the oils, I would go to the doctor for infections, for uh, respiratory infections and stuff like that. But now, that the last time I went was when I sprained my ankle. That was for, you know, something that the oils can't help with the bones. So with that, but uh, I needed a cast. But yeah, that was the last time I went. So um, yeah, I'm turned from a skeptic to a definite believer, I guess you could say. Yeah, it was funny. Like when I came home and I said, "Hey," I mean, because I was skeptical too. The, the way it worked out for me was um, it was an open house and my friend across the street said, hey, come with me. I'm going to this open house for essential oils. And I was sick. I had a cold. I had terrible sinus congestion. I sounded like um, Rosie Perez. I sounded like her. I was so congested. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to go. I don't want to get anyone sick. And she's like, don't be silly. Let's go. We will take care of you. And when I was like, I, I went reluctantly. Um, and then I got there and that's when I met Tina and Nikki and they were like, come, come over here. And they just like did something with hot water and put a towel over my head and said, here, breathe. And I hadn't been able to breathe through my nose for a few days. And I, I, that was my aha moment. Tina and I always talk about aha moments. That was my aha moment because a couple of seconds and I was, I was, oh, oh my God, I can breathe. I remember just feeling, you know, oh, that, because I am a nose breather. I hate breathing through my mouth. So that was a big thing for me. And that's when I was like, okay. And that's when I enrolled, I ordered my kit. And then I came home and he was like, you did what? You bought what? But like, you're crazy. And now we've come so far. I mean, for me, just kind of turning to this before going to over the counter stuff for you, just believing in the product. So yeah. you've come a long way. Um, it's, it's been a learning experience. And like I said, we're constantly learning and we're constantly, hey, you know, I wonder what would work for, for this. and. Um, just looking things up and uh, just like, uh, you know, just like with regular medication, what works for one person may not work for the other. So just, you know, just because it may be a, a particular oil didn't work for you doesn't mean that, oh, that's crap, you know, maybe you need something different. Because, um, I mean, we've, we've experienced that, um, you know, yeah. he likes peppermint when he's got, you know, head pain or something. And I, I like past tense, which does contain peppermint. So just kind of, yeah. um, trying different things and, and playing with the oils. But, so that's our story. You can go to our site for the takeaways. And I have to say that the statements made here have not been evaluated by the FDA. <laughs> See your healthcare provider before you uh, do any changes to your health. Um, and now we'll take your questions. <laughs> that's our Savannah. That's our, uh, our four-year-old uh, you know, pain in the neck. But. She's pretty awesome. Well, I'd like to thank the Kiefers for coming and sharing their story. Thanks for having us. Thanks for tuning in.